Hello friends, now we will install Windows 1 in VirtualBox. Microsoft Windows 1.01 was the first public version of Windows which was released on 1985. Now launch your VirtualBox and now we will be creating a new Windows 1 virtual machine. Click on the new button. Now you can provide any name to the virtual machine. I will be calling it Windows 1.01. Now select the type as Microsoft Windows and keep the version as Windows 3.1. Next select the hardware. I will be allocating this virtual machine around 500 MB of my RAM and I will allocate 3 processors to it. Next select the hard disk. I will allocate this virtual machine around 500 MB of my hard disk. Now keep the hard disk file type as virtual box disk image. Now click on the finish button. Now this will create the Windows 1 virtual machine. Next we need to do some configuration so select this Windows 1 machine and click on the setting button. Now go to display and make sure you give the maximum video memory to the virtual machine. Next select the storage and here you can see this controller floppy. Now under this you can see the empty option. Now click on it. Now on the right side you can see this floppy disk icon. Now click on it. Now click on choose a disk file. Now from here select the windows 1 floppy image. Now the link to download these files will be provided in the video description. Click on the open button. Now click on the ok button. Now select the Windows 1 and click on the start button. Now we have successfully installed Windows 1 in the virtual box. Let me close the notifications. Now you will notice we have many applications. Now double click on any application to launch it. We have launched calculator. Now let's perform some calculation 12 multiplied by 12. It should give us 144 and this is working fine. Now let me close this application, click on the menu option and from here select the close option. Now click on it. This will close the application. Now here we have calendar.exe, double click on it to launch it. Now let me close it. Next you can see we have clock.exe, double click on it and you will notice my background color is quite bluish. Now if you want to change the background color or any other setting, you can use the control panel. You can see this control.exe, simply double click on it. This will launch the control panel. Now from here you can change the settings, go to preferences, select screen color. From here you can set any screen color. Now I have selected cyan color. Now leave everything as it is and click on the OK button. Now this will change the background to cyan color. Now let me close the control panel. Now you will see we have paint.exe. Using it you can paint. Now let us close this paint application. Select no, we do not want to save it. Next you will see this we have write.exe, double click on it. And using this application you can take notes. Now let me close it. Select no, we do not want to save this file. Now you will notice our cursor, this is present inside this Windows 1 machine. Now if you want to move your cursor outside of this, press the control key that is present on the right side of your keyboard. This will 
Move your cursor outside of the Windows 1 machine. If you click again on the Windows 1 machine, now the cursor is on the Windows 1 machine. Now click on close and this will end your Windows session. Click on OK. Now again click on the right control key on your keyboard. This will move your cursor outside. Go to file and click on close. Now select power of the machine and click on OK. This will shut down your Windows 1 machine. Now if you want to remove this Windows 1 machine, what you can do is right click on it and select remove. Click on it. Now select delete all files. Click on it and this will delete the Windows 1 machine that we created. Now if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.